The numbers of votes cast for each candidate is as follows. Uh, Mordant, 105. Sunak, 137. Truss, 113. Therefore, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss will be the candidates going forward to a final ballot of Conservative Party members. The ballot will close on the 2nd of September and I will announce the results at 12.30pm on Monday the 5th of September. Thank you very much. Well, there it is, the result. It was going to be Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss, uh, who will go through to the final stage of the contest. The two candidates and Tory mem party members are now going to vote uh, on who to be uh, the next uh, prime minister and leader of their party. Rishi Sunak topping that poll with 137 votes. Liz Truss on 113. Penny Mordaunt on 105, which means she is now eliminated. Well, let's go straight to our political editor, Beth Rigby, shall we, for some analysis. Beth, what do you make of those results? Well, I'm just looking at the figures there, and in terms of the final round, there really was a consolidation of votes, with Liz Truss, the one, uh, putting on the most votes there, plus 27 from the final round. It is a Sunak versus Truss runoff. It is, if you like, the battle of ideas for the direction of the Conservative Party. Is it more of trying to cut inflation and then cut taxes, or is it a more blue-blooded Liz Truss deregulatory pitch in which she begins to cut taxes now? Now, a real battle for ideas between these two candidates. And as for Penny Mordaunt, well, she was eight short of Liz Truss. Such a tight race. If just four MPs had changed their minds, the votes could have fallen a different way. She put on 13 uh, from the last ballot. She will no doubt be absolutely devastated. She led, didn't she, up to this round and Liz Truss overtaking her there. Uh, but in terms of the wider party for Rishi Sunak, I think this is a more difficult contender for him in that Liz Truss is the Foreign Secretary. She too has cabinet experience and she will give a different version of conservatism to Rishi Sunak. Crucially as well for Liz Truss, she was the one that ne did not uh, leave cabinet. She did not resign. She stayed loyal to Boris Johnson. Now, that might have been uncomfortable for her uh, in the uh, hours when dozens of colleagues uh, were leaving government. But in terms of the party membership, many of whom uh, are still big fans of Boris Johnson, it will help her. So I think in terms of that too, uh, Rishi Sunak is going to have a hard battle against Liz Truss in terms of winning over party members. What did Rishi Sunak want to do? Well, look at the figures. How far ahead of it is he? I'll try and do this quickly in my head. He's 30-something votes, 34 uh, votes ahead of Liz Truss. Now, in terms of that, he wanted to put clear blue water uh, between her and himself in order to try and portray to party members um, that he uh, was really the part, the choice of MPs and that he really will be the more competent candidate. But look, it's the Foreign Secretary versus the former Chancellor. It's going to be a very, very, very punchy race. And I imagine that there's going to be a lot of attacks over the weekend. And I would also imagine that there will be more dirty tricks in this runoff and it could be quite unpleasant yet with lots of rumours swirling around about dark arts and attack jobs uh, in each of the candidates.